Today in America, we will use 21 million barrels of oil. Tomorrow, we'll use 21 million barrels of oil. The weekend comes, but that won't stop us from using 21 million barrels of oil. Every day, seven days a week, 21 million barrels of oil. Once the economy picks up, which it will, we'll use even more. We, have, we last year spent about $700 billion buying oil from these Middle East despots, this character in Venezuela. We have to lessen our dependence on foreign oil. We will never, ever be a secure nation unless we lessen our dependence on foreign oil. We cannot be secure when we're depending on these people for our electricity. That's basically what it amounts to. So what are we going to do about that? We know we can produce renewable energy in America. For, for a decade now, farmers in the mid, Midwest part of the United States have been, have been making more money, a number of them, with their windmills than they do on their soybeans and growing corn. The problem with renewable energy is that most of it can be produced where people don't live. And so we have a problem. If we're going to have these massive renewable energy projects, we have, to way of, we have to have a way of getting that electricity to where it's needed. And we can do that. And that's why we have in our economic recovery package billions of dollars for the so-called smart grid, which basically is nothing more than a super highway to carry electricity from where it's produced to where it's needed. In America today, we have huge amounts of new discoveries with natural gas. And the reason we're interested in natural gas, it has 90% less bad stuff in it than diesel fuel and regular gasoline. So we want to convert those trucks to natural gas and batteries for cars. And then, of course, we want to make sure that we do a lot better job of producing large amounts of electricity with renewable sources and take this where it's needed. But also, and Nevada is a good example where something is really good happening, and that is do something about individual homes, windmills, solar panels on the roof. So a lot can be done, and Nevada is a place that sets an example for a lot of the rest of the country because we have a big, a real high renewable portfolio standard, which means that a certain percentage of electricity that we produce in this state must be done by renewable sources.